Hiya sons, who's the daddy? So before we start, don't pull your face. It's corned beef hash. Now you might pull your face, but don't pull your face, okay? Because think of it like, you have it with beans and it's like jacket cheese and beans, but like on another level with a bit of meat in it. It's nice. It's not like hot pot. You love it. Honestly, you really enjoy it. So let's get to it. All we need is corned beef, onions, red Leicester cheese, Albert Bartlett, yellow potatoes, and that's it. Simple as that. Now, I'm not gonna show you how to peel potatoes, am I? So peel your potatoes and get them in. Get them in the steamer. I always like to steam my mashed potatoes. Now I've got this wok, okay, and then I use this and I put it in. A bit loud, isn't it? And then you've got, then you've got your steamer. And you can steam your stuff in that. Welcome to Just The Tip. Now here's a tip for you. Whenever you steam something, I always put an onion in the water that you use to steam it. A bit of salt as well. We want to lower the boiling point, so we want to create that steam and an onion. I think the onion gives the food a nice flavour. But also, if you wanted to, because you boil that onion in the water, you can make gravy with that water. So you boil your potatoes and then in the potatoes that I chop up, I also put onions in with the potatoes. And it's nice. With mashed potatoes, some people put cream in at the end, some people put butter in at the end. But if you're kind of watching what you're eating or if you just want it tasting nice anyway, when you put the potatoes and the onions in and you mash the onions and the potatoes all together, it's really tasty. You can obviously add butter as well if you want or cream if you want. But you tend to find that onion in with the potato gives it a nice creamy, creamy flavour, creamy texture. So you empty potatoes into another pan like this, okay, once they've steamed. You get yourself a good masher. This masher, it's Barry's mum's this. I got it from Barry's mum's. It's flipping great, good metal. It gets real good. Mashing. And then you give it a good mash with this. There's different ways of doing this bit. Claire, she just mashes the potato and she puts the corned beef in with the mashed potato. And then what she does is she sprinkles cheese on top of it and then she'll bake it in the oven and then the cheese on top of it goes nice and crispy and then you've got the stuff underneath. I do it a slightly different way. I put cheese in with the mash and with the corned beef, mix it all together and then I do put a light sprinkling of cheese on top of it, okay? And then that cheese crisps on top but then you've got the lovely cheese in the mash as well and that makes it really nice. Once you've mashed it, we're going to add cheese. So you add the cheese Obviously, Red Leicester cheese is the best cheese there is. And then once you've done that, add the corned beef and then mix it all together. I'm actually a bit peckish making this, I might have to have. Oh, Galloway's party meat pie. And one of the greatest bits about making this recipe is opening a tin of corned beef. Whoa! Because you get that little kick. Oh, there's no fucking key on this. And then if you've no key for it, you fucking knackered, aren't you? <laughs> now get yourself a good fork. I've got these bad boys, they're really hard. And with that, you can mash up not mash up, but you can bash up the uh, the corned beef in it and then give it a good mash up, the corned beef, and then mix that round. And then you add the potatoes to it. And then once you've added the, the potatoes to it, you just mix it all in together. And then in a nice flat dish like this, we're gonna put it all out into the flat dish, okay? And then flatten it all out. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna fork the top of it. So we're gonna make like plow lines in it. And what that'll do, that'll increase the surface area on the top. And because we've increased the surface area, there'll be more of it that's gone crispy. And then we're gonna put a sprinkling of cheese on top of it. And that'll like melt and go into it and then crisp up. 
them banging in the oven, gas mark 6 or 7 or 180, 200 depending on your oven and all you're doing really is you're just crisping that top up and warming the rest of it throughout. If you've got a fan oven you can put it anywhere, if you've got a normal oven, gas or just a normal oven, the higher up you put it the more it'll bake you know heat the top up because heat rises so the top will heat up more and you could burn it so put it like middle of your oven so it warms everything up and crisps the top and that's it it's a dead quick tea it's really tasty it keeps in the fridge for a while you can freeze it it's a great thing so crack on and get it made don't forget red leicester cheese Albert Bartlett yellow potatoes. Oh, great. So you doing boys, you alright? Light nights are coming back in. It's getting dark later now at the moment, and it? it's great. Warm weather's coming. Ace, love it. It's getting nice. But Winter's good as well, you can put your winter clothes on, wrap up warm, nice scarf, it's good. Just try and be happy, eh? Just remember I love you. And I'm really sorry if it's really boring, me keep saying the same thing over and over, but I want you to know how loved you are. If Voldemort came through them doors trying to get you with a Varna Cadabra or whatever it's called, then there's no chance he'd get you because my love would be covering you every second of every day, okay? He might get you a bit with a bit of flippendo, but there's no way he'd have had a cadabria because it'd be right back at you. Right back at you, motherfucker. Okay? So just remember, I love you. Keep on doing what you're doing and uh, enjoy yourselves. I hope you enjoy this recipe and I hope you uh, enjoy it. Eat it. Nice food. And remember, don't pull your face at it, Dominic. Um, it is. It's just like... King jacket cheese and beans. Jacket cheese and beans with a bit of meat. What's not to love? Come on, crack on, get it, kitchen!